In this video, I want us to explore these pair of parametric equations. x is equal to a sine theta and y is equal to b cos theta. Okay? I want to figure out what is the Cartesian equation, what does it look like? Okay? So, first of all, what I would do is I would rearrange this to get sine theta equals and cosine theta equals because then I know I can substitute them into a trig identity. So, from this one, we're going to get sine theta is equal to x over a, so dividing both sides by a, and here we're going to get cos theta is equal to y over b. Now I can substitute these into sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1, the trig identity. So we're going to get x over a squared plus y over b squared is equal to 1. Okay. Now I'm going to rewrite that. Um, instead of having those brackets, I'm going to square top and bottom of the fraction instead. Okay, so we're going to get this. Now, if um, we think about this, if I just had x squared plus y squared equals 1, you should be able to identify that that is a circle centred at the origin with radius 1. Okay, That's the first thing to notice here. Now, if I was going to uh, draw a diagram of this to figure out its shape, then what I need to do is I need to determine where is it crossing the x-axis, where is it crossing the y-axis. So it crosses the x-axis when y is 0. So if y is 0, that fraction disappears, and I'll be left with x squared equals a squared, because you could multiply both sides by the a squared. So when y is 0, we get x squared over a squared is 1. And so you get x squared is a squared. And so x could be plus or minus a. OK, so it crosses the uh, x-axis at minus a and positive a. Now, how about where it crosses the y-axis? So that would be when x is 0. So I could cover up that fraction, and I'd be left with this. So when uh, x is 0, we get y squared over b squared equals 1. Multiply both sides by the b squared. So y squared is b squared. And so then square root both sides, and you get y is plus or minus b. So, uh, I don't know where b is, it could be something like that. Okay, so what you have here is not a circle, necessarily. What we actually have is an ellipse. So, this defines an ellipse. I'm going to try and draw it. That's not too bad. OK, so this is the shape that goes through a and minus a on the x-axis, b and minus b on the y-axis, and is given by this equation here. OK, so this defines an ellipse centred at the origin, uh, crossing the x-axis at a and minus a, and crossing the y-axis at b and minus b. OK, so this is the equation that is very useful to remember, OK? And it's very useful to then go and figure out kind of what that shape would be, what it would look like. And I'm going to give you an example of that in the next video.